I'm going to show you how to print with a printing plate. Now you might have any kind of carved printing plate, but I have a piece of linoleum that's carved out, and um, depending on your assignment, the carvings might be different. This particular um, printing plate has a uh, little makeup design on it and was part of our pop art printing. So I'm ready to start printing my printing plate because I carved it all away, and so I need to gather some supplies. I have a piece of plexiglass, I have a brayer, which is a roller for ink, I have a baron, which kind of looks like a hockey puck with a handle, and that's used for pressing down your printing plate on the paper. I have some ink. Any color will do the first time you're printing because you're just, um, you're just test printing. So any color is good. And I'm going to use my sketchbook. So I need just a random sheet of paper for my sketchbook. This is just how to do a test print. This would not be your final prints. You're going to use the same process for final prints, but for test printing, um, you're just going to use a piece of scrap paper. You just want to get the hang of it get used to it. And you might have to do several before you really feel confident in your printing work. So all of these supplies can be obtained over by um, the sinks between sink one and two. Everything is labeled. There's a drawer with brayers and barons. There's a uh, cabinet with plexiglass and there's a drawer with ink. So you should be able to find all your supplies fairly easily. Um, you have your printing plate and you have your sketchbook. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my ink and I'm going to put some um, on my plexiglass. And ink is thicker than paint, kind of comes out like toothpaste, and it stays wetter longer. It's kind of sticky. So I'm going to squeeze out some ink, take my um, brayer, which is my roller, and I'm going to roll out some ink. Now, at first it looks like I'm painting the surface of the plexiglass with this ink. What I'm actually doing is trying to spread out the ink evenly so that I get a nice, even kind of medium coating on the roller here. So right now I have too much, I gotta spread it out a little bit more. Now I get this good sticky sound and I'll get a nice even texture once I finally have that layered on there really well. Then I'm gonna put my printing plate on the other side of the plexiglass and with my brayer, carefully roll out the ink. I will probably have to pick up some more from the side. And every printing plate tends to have its problem areas this particular one, um, there are sections where the ink doesn't want to stick, so I might need to turn my brayer different ways. I might have to kind of tilt it to get it in, just so that I can see on my printing plate that I have a nice, um, even layer of ink. Now, I'm going to actually move my ink out of the way so that I have a nice clean surface to print on. You want to try to avoid any stray marks on your paper, even though this is just a test print. Always good to get into the habit. Take my printing plate, turn it face down on my paper, just so it sticks, and then very carefully I'm going to turn it over the other direction. Now putting it down the one way helps me center it on the paper. Now, having the paper on top, I can actually um, press it down well so I get a really good image. So, with my Baron, I'm going to rub it across the surface of the printing plate. I like to use little circular motions. Try to get really nice and even. If you know that you have problem areas, especially after you do your first test print, um, you can actually take your brayer and kind of tilt it so you can get in those little problem areas. I also like to kind of tilt my um, barren a little bit and run it along the four sides so I get very clean edges. I don't like edges that kind of fade and disappear. So that rubbed down really well. And because it's a test print, the first time you don't really know how you did. So, peel it off and investigate. Now, mine turned out pretty well. Pretty good, pretty even with ink, so I know that next time I print, I want to use the exact same methods that I did the first time. Now, if your print was too light, then you might need to use more ink. Um, you may need to um, do more pressing, so it could be a couple of problems. The other issue that happens sometimes, if you haven't carved deep enough, your ink will go into the grooves of your printing plate, and that's not good. So you may have to clean your printing plate and go back to do some more carving and kind of tweak things before it works just right. So once you have done a couple of successful test prints, then you're ready to move on to your final prints. So before you do any other, um, any other work, you would want to clean this. So take this to your sink. Um, as long as this is clean, you can put it away. But this all has to be cleaned, definitely. This whole thing can go into your sink, clean it off with a sponge. When it comes to clean, cleaning the brayers, um, use a toothbrush there in your sink drainers and really kind of get that super clean because the worst thing is printing only to find out that someone before you has left their dirty ink all over your brayer. So 
toothbrushes for this as well. It kind of helps to get it out of the grooves. And um, you're good to go.